Hey everyone, today I'm going to share some tricks and tips for Appium. And today we're going to look at how you could speed your Appium iOS uh, tests. So what happens generally is uh, whenever you run your Appium iOS tests on real devices, so the startup time is a little slow. And I think it's, it's not a little slow, it's pretty much slow, right? So why this happens is basically because, uh, you know, before your entire test session starts, so Appium behind the scene is basically going to build your WebDriver agent. So, and what that means is it's basically an Xcode build, right? So Xcode builds are generally, you know, time taking. So if you want to cut down that entire Xcode build for every session startup, what you could do is there's a capability called, uh, you know, use pre-build WDA. So what it's going to do is if Appium for the first session builds the WebDriver uh, agent for you, so the next session is not going to, you know, sort of uh, rebuild it, but rather is going to, you know, use the existing uh, built uh, WebDriver uh, agent. Uh, that's one capability that you could use in your test to, you know, improve your startup time. So you're going to fairly see some improvements there. And if you want to completely, you know, get rid of this entire WebDriver agent from uh, Appium, you could still do that. What you could do is uh, you could basically build a WebDriver agent yourself and manage it outside your session startup time and use a capability called uh, WebDriver agent URL and just give the host in the port where the WebDriver agent URL is basically running. And this way, uh, Appium is not going to do any of the Xcode builds, nor going to do anything around WebDriver agent building, but rather it would just go on a straight your session startup and it's just going to poke WebDriver agent, whichever URL you have given. Um, that will massively, you know, reduce your entire uh, startup time for iOS uh, real devices.